Hey guys, today we're going to be doing something really exciting, which is to build a bot to try and beat a speed typing test. All right, so this is a website called 10fastfingers.com and it's really simple. All you do is copy whatever text is written here and type it into this input field. So for example, I can type do West showed several etc blah 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 so i'm not going to try to do this manually i'm terrible at typing um, but you can see there's also a t countdown time over here and we can see here is the top ranking so in the last 24 hours the um, the record is 182 words per minute and the second place is 145 words per minute etc so we're going to try and build a bot which is going to beat this in fact we are going to um be doing the advanced speed typing test, which has a thousand words as opposed to 200 words. And we are gonna try and beat the all time top. So if we come here to top 100, we will be able to see the all time record um, in typing in English is 233 words per minute. All right, and um, the these records are all verified. You can see here in green, if you click that, it's actually gonna take us to a YouTube video of the guy typing and you can actually see his fingers moving on the keyboard on a real time um, video recording off the, the keyboard. Um, they need to give proof like this because of people like me who build bots to beat the system. Um, but oh, look at me, I've got five words per minute, that's great. All right, let's try and prove on that um, by building a bot in UiPath to try and beat this record. Okay, so I'm just gonna refresh this let me refresh this entire page actually. And let's come to UiPath. So um, first we need to use an attach browser. So this activity attaches to our browser, all right? And let's indicate browser on screen and I'm gonna select our entire browser. Just like that, we can come view our selector. I'll click this menu button and go to edit selector. And we can see here it is Chrome and the title is Advanced Typing Test English. I'm just gonna replace all of this with a wildcard and asterisk like that. And I'll also just put an asterisk on the right hand side. This is just best practice when you attach to a browser. It's good to just have the browser name and then asterisk, asterisk, I don't know how to say a plural of asterisk um, on either side of that. All right, so you can click validate and that is fine, we can click OK. Great, so next step, what we wanna do is we want to read whatever's written inside over here. So for that, we can use a get text activity. So I'll search for a get text, there it is. So I'll drag and get text into this do sequence and indicate elements inside browser, we wanna click that. And then we want, you can see you can select each word if you want, but we don't wanna select individual words, we wanna select this entire block. So I'll select that. And let's have a look at our selector. Looking at that, our selector looks reliable and it's validated, so that's good. Next, um, we want to use a type into activity. All right, so this is what's gonna type into the input field. So we'll drag this type into over there. And once again, indicate elements inside browser and we wanna type over there. But now what exactly are we going to type? So that's where we can store this text into a variable inside our get text activity. So here um, for the value, I'm just gonna open this up. We can create a variable. So I'm gonna click right click create variable and I'm gonna call this text to type, All right? And click enter to create the variable and we can click okay. There it is text to type and we can see our variable over here text to type over there. Our next step is we want to take this text to type and input it into our type into activity over here. So we can, what I did there is I just click control space to open up our variables and then there is text to type. Double click that and that is it. If I click away, this error should go away. There you go. And also what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add in a three second delay between these two activities. So we have a get text, and I'm just going to rename this to get text to type. And over here, I'm just going to call this type text. Great. 
Um, so of course there's a whole lot of properties here we can play with. Um, we can probably make it even type even faster by checking simulate or something like that. But it's fine for now. I'm just going to um, leave that. Also here attach browse. I'm going to rename that to attach to 10 fast fingers dot com. All right. In our case, it's there's no fingers involved, just a bot. Cool. So that looks like everything required to build this bot. It doesn't look like it needs anything more. So I'm just going to come back here. I'm going to refresh this and I'm going to come back and run the bot. I'll click the run button. I'll minimize this and let's see what happens. Look at that. It's working. Um, so it's typing each word super fast and we can see as it types the word, the color of the word changes to green. Um, if it makes a spelling mistake, it's going to change to red. But of course, because we're using a bot, it doesn't make mistakes. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised by the end of this if we have a 100% accuracy. Um, so we can see there on the countdown timer, we're about halfway. There's 30 seconds remaining. And um, when the timer runs out, we'll see what our word per minute is. We can just by looking at this, you can see it's probably going to be really fast. Look at that. The bot actually finished. But if we come back here, um, there's still a few seconds left. Look at that 12, 11. Um, and the reason for that is we already finished typing all 1000 words. Well, I'll say we, it was the bot. Um, but there you have it. So let's see now. Uh, I'll just click OK here. Look at that. The result, 372 words per minute. That's incredible. Um, and yeah, like I predicted, 100% accuracy. Correct words, 282. And wrong words, zero. All right, that is that is our result. And we can see here, we beat 182 we can we, we beat that by quite a bit and if we also compare it to the all-time top the all-time top was 233 words per minute as you can see over there and we have 372 words per minute so um yeah that's that's a nice little demonstration of how a bot can do work a whole lot quicker than humans can um but if I just ask guys, please don't go and enter these competitions and use a bot to try and beat other people. You know, it's it's quite unethical to do that. And some people take this seriously and you'll just make them really sad. So <laughs> don't do that, please. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it and you want to see more um, fun videos like this, um, uh, you know, educational UI path videos and also doing or building cool little robots, um, please like this video. Uh, it really helps um, the channel. I just started this YouTube channel, so I'd really appreciate it if you guys can give me a like on this video and also subscribe to my channel if you're interested in um, learning more about RPA and UiPath. Great, that's all, and thanks for watching.